Being the mom of the house, I have raised every critter that has come into our house as babies. I've been the one to do all of the house breaking, all of the litter training, the late night needs for the puppies and things like that. And every single one of those little stinkers decided that I just wasn't their human after all. Both of the dogs belong to Ryan, even though I was the one up doing the late night stuff with them. Like they orbit him like little moons everywhere he goes, they are under his feet. Jocko's secondary person is the teenager. See, there he goes right there, being daddy's shadow, gotta check out what he's doing outside. Ace Puppers I went into full-blown depression with because he came along during a time where I was just already overwhelmed. And yet, there he is, scratching at the door because, you know, daddy went outside. And both of the other cats belong to the teenager, both Jake and Snowflake. Although Jake primarily loves Little Man the most. But this little nugget right here? She was supposed to be Daddy's cat because Trouble Kitty was his cat and she passed away about a month or so after we moved to Texas. But I am happy to say, after almost 10 animals coming and going through our life together over the past 21 years, this little nugget has decided that she's mommy's girl. She doesn't really like to snuggle, but she's very, very content for me to hold her like this up against my neck. And almost every single night, at some point in time during the night, she comes and curls herself up near my face and reaches out with her paw to pull me in close to her. So I think it's safe to say mommy finally has her little fur baby. That's her pet. Even if most of the day she thinks she's a bunny and she goes upstairs and hangs out with buttons and dobby in middle little's room. <laughs> but regardless, she always starts and ends her days with mommy's snuggles and I love